myself Nemesha Goswami in you are welcome in lecture of crane hook and hoisting tackle analysis so crane hook and hoisting tackle analysis uh, these are equipments which are generally used in material handling system so first of all we will see how to design a crane hook and uh, on which type of beam it is based on and design is based on which type of beams so generally crane hook are designed on basis of curved beam why curved beam because in case of a straight beam you know neutral axis of section coincide with centroidal axis but in case of curved beam this condition is not possible both axis neutral axis as well as curved axis or you can say that centroidal axis stress distribution in beam is non linear and these are have some different positions so these are not coincide with each other so crane hook are generally designed on basis of curve beam so how to find out curve beam bending stresses because in this in this type designing of crane hook bending stresses will be generated so how to calculate these bending stresses so bending stress is generally calculated by it is denoted by sigma b and this is equal to m divided by a you can see here in front of your screen sigma b is equal to m divided by a into a multiplied by y divided by r n minus y so what all these uh, factors indicate for example m so m generally indicate here this is bending moment a is area so area may area is different for different different section for example section is like square so area will be different for example it may be circle it may be trapezoidal so area will be different with different different depends on different types of sections right e what is e so uh, e is equal to distance from centroidal axis to neutral axis so how to calculate this distance i will show here in front of your screen one diagram so you will get better understand okay so e is distance distance between centroidal axis and neutral axis because we are designing crane hook on basis of curve beam and in case of curve beam both axis does not coincide okay and these are having different axis right so what is r indicate so r indicates radius of curvature of centroidal axis you can see here uh, radius r is equal to radius of curvature of centroidal axis or you can say that simple radius of centroidal axis similarly rn so n indicates for neutral axis so what is rn rn is equal to radius of curvature of particular for neutral axis now next thing is y so this is very important factor so how to calculate y y is equal to this indicates distance from neutral axis to the fiber right so which type of fiber so i will show here one diagram okay so see here so these are different types of notations y r n r okay m divided by a into e right so next thing is now in front of your screen you can see here one diagram so now this is diagram for curve beam right so here you can see that this is center of curvature i am considering this dotted line is center of curvature and now i will considering this uh, blue line section you can see here this is blue line total section is indicating some section for our study right so now we will uh, define each and every term by using this diagram right so here we are considering this is elliptical section okay so now this o is center of curvature now next thing o to ri so what is o to ri so this is distance of center center of curvature to inner fiber this line indicating here inner fiber and this one is indicating your outer fiber okay and you can see here right why why is indicating from distance from neutral axis to fiber so it may be outer fiber or outer most layer or it may be inner most <laughs> layer so when we consider that this is inner most layer so it is indicated by yi 
similarly when we consider distance from neutral axis to outer fiber so when we consider this so this indicates your y0 right here n and section you can see here n section is considered neutral axis and c section is considered here centroidal axis now see here what is e so e uh, we have already seen that e is difference between radius of curvature of centroidal axis minus radius of curvature of neutral axis so here you can clearly understand what is e indicates right similarly rn so rn is radius of curvature of neutral axis similarly r simply r so it indicates the radius of curvature of particular centroidal axis now what is ri and ro so ri indicates radius from center of curvature to inner fiber similarly ro indicates that radius of curvature from central from center of curvature to outer fiber so these are distances these are different parameters now so uh, we are considering that if section or uh, whatever section we are consider that if it may be symmetrical right so these are there are different two condition if section is symmetrical like i beam okay or circle rectangular okay then maximum bending stress will always occur at inside fiber okay so what is condition if section is symmetrical right so what is the condition for maximum bending stress so at that time if section is uh, symmetrical at that time stresses are maximum occur at inside fiber right so you can see here for symmetrical section for symmetrical section so maximum stresses will be occur here you can see here clearly right similarly if section is not symmetrical or we can say that unsymmetrical so where uh, what will be the condition for maximum stresses so at that time maximum stresses may be at inside fiber or at the outside fiber so these may be occurred anywhere if section is unsymmetrical right so now how to calculate maximum bending stress at inside fiber so inside fiber means we consider y is equal to y i similarly for outside fiber we consider y is equal to y o o is indicating at, at outside cons, uh, uh, outside position or outermost fiber and i simply i small i is indicating your inside fiber so sigma bi is equal to m into y i divided by a into e into r i so n is here again bending moment a is area of section y i indicating from distance from the neutral axis to inside fiber so this is equal to r n minus r i similarly r i is equal to radius of curvature of inside fiber so these uh, i have already defined similarly how to find out maximum bending stress at outside fiber okay so maximum bending stress occurred at outside fiber is equal to y will be um, converted with y o okay so this is equal to m into y o divided by a into e into r o so r o indicates here radius of curvature of outside fiber y o indicated that neutral axis to outside fiber distance so these are distances similarly sigma is equal to so these are two types of stresses occurred in case of unsymmetrical section or in case of curve beam right so next thing is how to calculate resultant stress so resultant stress is equal to sigma d plus minus sigma b okay so these are stresses occurred so we will put all equation all these stresses in these in this equation so we will get here final resultant stress okay so it was all about crane hook or you can say that design of curve beam next thing is hoisting tackle analysis so hoisting system is generally used in material handling system to transport material from one place to another place right and uh, so it it is basically consist of three parts three four parts first is direct draw box second one is block tackle system and third one is your hook so we have already seen that design of hook so how to design a 
hope right now so what are the basic function of direct draw bombs so these are used for uh, these provides basically necessary heights and these are also used for the support lift load in and out of the valve right so this is basically a function of hoisting tackle hoisting tackle equipments right so these are consist of different parts so you in front of your screen you can see here first is your crown bag second is your direct third one is your drilling line so this is hoisting tackle system particular for drilling equipments right so and this is your traveling block this is your hook and here that line anchor supply rail and raw box so these are basic parts of hoisting tackle equipments so now how to do analysis so first of all block tackle so what is function of block tackle so black block tackle is assembly of crown block okay so you can see here it is assembly of crown block and traveling block right so you this is assembly of crown block block traveling block and drilling line okay and uh, what is basic function so this is uh, this is all about assembly right second thing second thing is what uh, what are the requirement of this type of system okay so these are used or these provides a mechanical advantage to the draw works right when we work or when we lift to load or lower the load right so in, in here mechanical advantage will come into picture and this reduces the total load applied to direct so how to calculate mechanical advantage so here mechanical advantage of block tackle so how to calculate so it is defined as ratio of whatever amount of load in hook okay to the tensile force so whatever amount of load you are lifting ratio of load lifting divided by how much tensile forces will be generated in fast line so this is ratio of these two parameters so first of all first line if tensile forces is indicated ff in first line and load is uh, indicated by w so mechanical advantage is equal to load divided by ff or you can say that w divided by ff so this is all about mechanical advantage now next thing is when we consider that if system is ideal frictionless system okay so what will happen so mechanical at that condition mechanical advantage is equal to 1 so in that condition w is equal to r into ff right so this is ideal condition uh, when we work actually practically so this not happen this not possible next thing is uh, so make in this uh, particular ideal case okay so mechanical advantage ideal is equal to n okay so n is equal to what is n indicates so this is number of lines strung through traveling block so number of lines are used when we use traveling block so this indicates that particular parameter next thing is efficiency of real pulleys right so pulleys are also used in material and handling system right so if we consider that fi and fo are input and output tensile forces what we are considering fi indicating that input forces and fo indicating that output tensile forces okay of rope in the pulley right so how to calculate real pulley so real pulley is equal to efficiency of real pulley is equal to output divided by input so here we consider uh, this efficiency is equal to fo divided by f i so it was all about analysis of hoisting tackle equipments